CRF products are easy to service given the technology choices made, the design parameters used, as well as the modular designs that we are launching to the market. All this reaches to maximum up tower serviceability, which is then fueled with the global service network, which is providing global reach and local proximity. So digitalization for us means the combination of data from a manufactured gearbox and the data we call the digital bird certificate in combination with performance data uh, of the product when it is running, which is the life cycle monitor. Um, those two we combine into our uh, gearbox uh, experience. And that brings the added value to reduce the operational expenditure on wind turbines, increasing availability um, and output, as well as extending the lifetime of wind turbines. And that's where we see the first and biggest potential. So ZF is currently uh, rolling out a spare parts optimization service, which comes uh, with recommendations for end users in the aftermarket uh, on how many and which spare parts they need for their wind turbine fleet. Uh, this comes as part of a service contract uh, in which the customer also has transparency in pricing, uh, fixed lead times, which is at the end enabling him to yeah, get his turbine up and running again as fast as possible. So the collaboration between ZF Windpower and Vestas will lead into a unparalleled gearbox solutions with more than 40 years of gearbox expertise, with more than 900 repairs executed annually, with more than 400 up tower repairs executed annually, and a vast experience throughout all the turbine brands across the world. So ZF Spare Parts Optimization Service is based on our knowledge of what is inside the gearbox. It's our uh, digital bird certificate. We combine that with our gearbox experience, being about how do gearboxes fail, how often do they fail, and that we combine with the performance data uh, of the wind turbines, which is uh, owned by the operator. Bringing that all together into our life cycle analytics enables us to do first of all consumed lifetime calculations as well as remaining lifetime calculations. The remaining lifetime calculations are statistically based and there we bring the uh, data into reliability graphs where we can then derive the number of spare parts an operator would need for his uh, whole fleet. It's the evolution from purely mechanical products to products enriched with data coming from various sources that is uh, very interesting. And uh, the first part is gathering the data, structuring, cleaning the data. But the fun part really starts when you can uh, process this data and uh, work it into uh, support of O&M decisions. And uh, at the end, it's the combination of data analytics with our gearbox experience that is the most exciting part of this evolution.